Hi guys, I'm Liz and welcome to The Quick Journey here on YouTube. Today I have a fun little project planned. It's something that I have been wanting to tackle for a long time. I have been looking and looking for the perfect piece to bring into our foyer and I have found it. So I am going to take you along with me, taking everything out of my foyer, cleaning the piece that I found, bringing it back in, and then also getting it decorated for fall. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. It really helps my channel here on YouTube grow, and it tells YouTube to share it with other people. So even though it seems like a really small thing, it makes a huge difference for me and my little channel here. So thank you so much if you do that, and let's get started. Really quickly, I am here in my foyer, and I wanted to tell you a few things that I have a bit of trouble with with this space. It's kind of medium size, like it's wide, but it's not very deep, and so I have trouble figuring out what to put in here. I want it to feel homey and cozy whenever people come in the front door, but I also don't want it to be cluttered. I obviously need some place for people to sit and put their shoes, on before they leave the house, so that is important. Um, I also need a coat rack, but the one that was here was kind of bulky, and I don't know, just felt like sometimes it got in the way, even though I loved it so much. And I also wanted something that I could decorate for the seasons or just bring in a bit of character and warmth right here in my foyer. Um, and that has taken quite a bit of time because the ceilings in this foyer are so high, so to find anything that makes the space feel like perfectly full, like not too full and over full and cluttered, but not like looking silly and everything looking really dwarfed is kind of a hard <laughs> bill to fill. So I have right now a tapestry that I got from a small shop and I really, really love it. I, it's a floral pattern and I love how it looks antiqued and kind of Parisian but it's not exactly the right fit for the space and I'm wanting to have a piece of um, antique art that actually has a really nice uh, frame to it and I would love to eventually get an art light to put over it to kind of also draw your eye up and just kind of fill up the wall. But for now, I'm gonna keep this um, canvas that I have that I have had for several years and I really, really like it. Um, I'm gonna keep it there until I find the perfect piece of art that I want to put there that I feel like better fits my home. Another piece I have in this space is a slatted bench and I really liked it while we had it, but I've been wanting to do more of like a buffet or a dresser type piece in this space so that I have one storage because I like to have all the storage to hide things away and tuck things away that I maybe don't use every single day or even every single month, but I use it throughout the year and I wanna have things like blankets or books or things, candles, things like that. So I wanted some place that I could have some storage. I also wanted a surface that I could decorate. I would love to put a little lamp in here at some point just to add a little bit of cozy to this space. I haven't done that yet. I've been on the lookout for the lamp. I just have not found it. Um, and I would just really like to be able to change it up for the season. So I did look on Facebook Marketplace for months and months and months. I've been looking for something that had some character to it, but I didn't want it too feminine. I wanted something a bit more masculine in this space. I also wanted something that was in decent shape and that didn't cost a ton of money, which that is getting harder to come by. People know that people will buy old furniture now and so they are just upping the prices. So if you've seen that, just know you're not alone. I've noticed it too. Um, so those were kind of my things that I was looking for and I finally found a dresser that I really loved and I'm going to clean it up and you're gonna come along with me and then we are gonna bring it into the space and decorate it together. First things first, I'm gonna give this dresser a wipe down. I dusted it off and now I'm going to pull out all the drawers and vacuum it and then take my Thieves household cleaner and give it a good scrub. One of the things that drew me to this dresser were of course the poles. I thought they were really, really cool. I am going to adjust them so that they all 
fall clothes to whenever they're not being used. I loved the scallop detailing of the drawers and I really liked the wood tone. It's a good medium wood tone. I like that there were some darker stained portions of the dresser which I feel like gave it somewhat of a masculine look and I really liked the trim detail on the top of the dresser. So all together, I just really liked the look of it. I thought it was simple, but not so simple that it was boring. And you know, it added that much needed storage that I was looking for in my foyer. After a much needed scrubbing, Mark helped me move it into the space. I sprayed down the top one more time just for good measure and then I got all of my fall stuff out and ready to decorate. I love this antique chair. I actually got it from my next door neighbor who was cleaning out her basement and there were two of them. The other one sits in the corner of my bedroom and I adore them. One of my favorite ways to cozy up a space for fall is to add textiles and blankets, pillows. I'm not really big on the whole pumpkin and bright orange kind of situation. I did add a really cute pumpkin to this chair though, but my favorite way to take a space from summer to fall is just to bring in those warm textures and colors in the form of textiles. I also really love bringing, bringing in warmth with dried florals and candles. We'll see how long these leaves make it here on the dresser. I'm not sure if my cats will leave them alone or not, but I thought it was worth a shot. One of the things that is a must in our entryway is a diffuser. It instantly greets everyone who walks in our door and just has such a yummy, delicious seasonal aroma to it. This time I put in a couple drops of cinnamon bark and a few drops of Christmas spirit, both from Young Living, and they are my favorite combination for this time of year. This woven basket in the corner is from Mark's grandparents and the pheasant is from a local shop. And then this brass coat hanger. I have had this for over a year and just didn't know where to put it because it was too beautiful to hide it away. And then whenever we were redoing the foyer, I thought that is where it's gonna go. And I love it here. It's so beautiful and the patina is just fabulous. I kept it simple by hanging a cotton wreath on it and one of my wool scarves. I thought it would be festive but also still be useful. This crock is also from Mark's grandparents and I love that we can make use of it and look at it every single day. It's so beautiful. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed redoing and decorating my foyer for fall. I would love to know if you have any thoughts on things I need to add to this space or if you have any ideas for me, definitely leave them in the comments below. I'm always looking for tips and ideas for decorating in my home, so definitely leave that below. Again, if you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe give me a thumbs up and comment telling me what you would like to see here in the upcoming weeks here on The Quick Journey. Definitely make sure you subscribe because I have lots of really fun, cozy, autumnal content coming in the next few weeks. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.